This video will demonstrate how to install the Leviton DDOSR Decora Digital Decora Smart Coordinating Switch Remote. These devices may be used for three-way or four-way applications. For this video, we will be showing the three-way application. Please be certain to follow all instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you are unsure about any part of the instructions, or if you are not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact an electrician. When installing and terminating these Leviton devices, have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. The process shown follows general guidelines. Local codes take precedence. Be sure to turn the power off at the circuit breaker and use a voltage tester to ensure that the power is completely off. The three-way installation will be demonstrated two ways. First, an application with a neutral wire using the DDS-15, and then an application without a neutral wire using the DDL-06. We will begin with a three-way installation if a neutral wire is present. To view the three-way installation without a neutral, skip to 7 minutes and 53 seconds in this video. The installation is being shown with the DDS-15, Decora Digital, Decora Smart Switch, and may look different from other Decora Digital, Decora Smart devices using the same method of termination. First, you will need to identify the type of wiring in each wall box. If the wiring in the wall box does not resemble any of these configurations, consult an electrician. We will be working with two three-way wall boxes in these instructions. One of the three-way wall boxes will have a connection to the load wire, and the other three-way wall box will have a connection to the line hot wire, which we will discuss in a moment. For this installation, we will first work with the three-way wall box that has a line hot connection. Start by locating one of the three-way wall boxes. To begin, we need to remove the three-way switch from the wall box. Identify the terminal screw that is a different color from the two other terminal screws. This is the common, or line hot wire, and should be tagged with a small piece of electrical tape. Remove the remaining wires from the three-way switch. Now, we will identify if this tagged wire is the line hot wire or the load wire. To do this, turn the circuit breaker back on. Carefully use the voltage tester to test the wire. The voltage tester will indicate if this wire is the line hot wire. If this is the line hot wire, we will consider this the line wall box. Once this is completed, turn off the circuit breaker to shut power and test to ensure the power is off. If the voltage tester did not indicate that this is a line hot wire, consider this wall box the load wall box. Next, we must conduct the same steps for the other three-way wall box. Remove the three-way switch from the wall box. Identify the terminal screw that is a different color from the two other terminal screws. This is the common or line hot wire and should be tagged with a small piece of electrical tape. Remove the remaining wires from the three-way switch. Now we will begin the installation process with the DDS-15 Decora Digital Decora Smart Switch. In the line wall box, we have five different wires in addition to the green or bare copper wire, which is the ground. There will be a tagged common or line hot wire, two neutral wires, and two remaining wires. Choose one wire as Traveler 1 and note the color. Note the color of the other wire, which will be referred to as Traveler 2. Next, you need to be sure that the wires are prepared for installation. Start by making sure the wires are straight and stripped according to the strip gauge located on the back of the device. To wire, insert the line hot wire under the back wire terminal clamp on your device labeled BK. Tighten the screw firmly. Next, insert the first traveler wire under the back wire terminal clamp on your remote device labeled 
YLRD. Tighten the screw firmly. Note the color of this traveler wire, as it will be referenced in the next wall box. Next, if the device requires a neutral, twist the exposed stranded copper wire in a clockwise direction in order to prepare it to be terminated. Insert the white wall box neutral wire under the back wire terminal clamp labeled WH. Tighten the screw firmly. Next, insert the second traveler wire under the back wire terminal clamp labeled RD. Tighten the screw firmly. Note the color of this traveler wire as it will be referenced in the next wall box. Finally, Insert the ground wire under the green ground screw. Tighten the screw firmly. The device is now terminated. Now we will install the remote into the load wall box. In this wall box, we have four different wires in addition to the green or bare copper wire, which is the ground. There will be a load wire, a neutral wire, and two traveler wires. First, Locate the wire that is the color of the first traveler that you noted in the previous wall box. This wire is to be inserted under the back wire terminal clamp labeled YLRD on the remote device. Now, locate the wire that is the color of the second traveler that you noted in the previous wall box. This wire is to be connected to the load wire with a wire connector. Twist the exposed stranded copper wire in a clockwise direction in order to prepare it to be terminated. Next, insert the white neutral wire under the back wire terminal clamp labeled WH on the remote. Finally, insert the ground wire under the green ground screw. Tighten the screw firmly. The remote device is now terminated. Now we will demonstrate a three-way installation without a neutral wire present. This installation is being shown with a DDL06 Decora Digital Decora Smart Dimmer. In the line wall box, we have three different wires in addition to the green or bare copper wire, which is the ground. There will be a tagged common or line hot wire and two remaining wires. Choose one wire as Traveler 1 and note the color. Note the color of the other wire, which will be referred to as Traveler 2. Next, you need to be sure that the wires are prepared for installation. Start by making sure the wires are straight and stripped according to the strip gauge located on the back of the device. To wire, insert the line hot wire under the back wire terminal clamp on your device labeled BK. Tighten the screw firmly. Next, insert the first traveler wire under the back wire terminal clamp on your device labeled YLRD. Tighten the screw firmly. Note the color of this traveler wire as it will be referenced in the next wall box. Next, insert the second traveler wire under the back wire terminal clamp labeled RD. Tighten the screw firmly. Note the color of this traveler wire as it will be referenced in the next wall box. Finally, Insert the ground wire under the green ground screw. Tighten the screw firmly. The device is now terminated. Now we will install the remote into the load wall box. In this wall box, we have three different wires in addition to the green or bare copper wire, which is the ground. There will be a load wire and two traveler wires. 
To wire, insert the load wire under the back wire terminal clamp on your remote device labeled BK. Tighten the screw firmly. Next, locate the wire that is the color of the first traveler that you noted in the previous wall box. This wire is to be inserted under the back wire terminal clamp labeled YLRD on the remote device. Now, locate the wire that is the color of the second traveler that you noted in the previous wall box. This wire is to be inserted under the back wire terminal clamp labeled RD on the remote device. Finally, insert the ground wire under the green ground screw. Tighten the screw firmly. The remote device is now terminated. Now we will mount the devices. Note that they are all mounted the same way and we will demonstrate one device only. Carefully position all wires to provide room in the wall box for the device. Ensure that the word top is facing up on the device strap. Mount the device in the wall box with the mounting screws provided. Attach the wall plate. Restore power at the circuit breaker. We will now test the installation by tapping the top of the rocker. Controlled lights should turn on. Tap the bottom of the rocker and the lights should turn off. If the lights do not work properly, refer to the troubleshooting section of the instructions. Your Leviton Decora Digital Decora Smart Coordinating Switch Remote is now ready for use. For more information about this Leviton device, visit leviton.com slash decorasmart.